The past year has been really good for Indian cricket. There have been many highs and some lows. Starting off with the Test victory in Australia, that was really nice um, because it started off the year well and it's really hard to win in Australia. Australia have good teams, they have hard pitches if you're a new country coming in. So that, that way, India had a good start off to the year with that Test victory and then there were some lows with the Australia and New Zealand ODI series. But after the IPL, they came back strong in the World Cup. They won seven games out of nine. They didn't qualify for the finals, but still, seven wins out of nine is credible, and any team would take that any day, especially with the 500s from Roy Sharma, the 50s from Virat Kohli. But I guess in the semifinals, what happened was it was a top order collapse, and then the middle order, we hadn't really sorted that out yet. So that's where I guess we lost that semifinal. But then India came back strongly once again for the India West Indies series. They won the ODI series 2 0 with one game washed out. And then in the Test series, it was Jaspreet Bumrah, Mohammad Shami, Shant Sharma, Omesh Yadav, these Pacers. They were bowling really well there. It was like the opposite of what used to happen where the West Indies fast bowlers are bowling well. Now it was the Indian bowlers when they're coming, they're bowling well. And it was just an excellent performance from them. And now coming to India's home series, India played really well, even in the absence of Bumrah. Bowlers like Shami, Shan Sharma, Bhavneshwar Kumar, Omesh Yadav, Deepak Chahar, these bowlers are winning you games. And I think that's a really big plus for India, because before this, India were really reliant on Bumrah with their pace bowling and overall bowling department. And now these bowlers have really stepped up and... India have one of the greatest bowling attacks in the world at the moment now, especially with pace. And at this point in India, you would think that there's spinning, there's turning pitches, so the spinners would have a big role, but pace are winning you games now in the bowling department, and it's not that much of spin. So that way, India's bowling department is doing really well, especially with the pace. And... Now, in the test matches, with the batting, India also had some good achievements. They've done, they've stepped forward a lot, especially with Rohit Sharma, Mayank Agarwal. These are two openers that they've found. India have been looking for openers for many years now. They've tried out many openers like Kiel Rahul, Shikhar Dhawan, Morley Vijay. But these two openers in Rohit Sharma and Mayank Agarwal, these openers are doing really well with them. They're hitting double centuries, centuries against these, against teams that just toured India, like Bangladesh and South Africa. So that way they're doing well. They're taking some of the pressure off the middle order. And I think India have found good openers in tests now. Now moving on into the ODIs, India had one big concern before 2019 started and they've had that concern for a few years now and that's who will be the number four and now in number four i think india found a good batsman in shreya sayer he's been playing well he's won india some games he's helped win india some games batting there in the middle and yes he didn't have that good of that third odi against west indies but every player has that off game before that if you think about it him and rishabh Pant, they put on a partnership and put up 80 runs in the last five overs so that way i think these this middle order is doing well for India now and India will be really happy that they've found someone number four. So this was India's cricket in review for 2019 and they've done really well. They'll be really satisfied with what they've done, all the highs and some of the lows, but India still have some things to work on. But looking at 2020 and 2020 World Cup, India will be really satisfied with what they've done this year.